Hi folks, uh, this is Kong from the AEGWizard.com. Today I'd like to show uh, some of the nice features of the AEG Wizard. You know, uh, here, the setup, I have uh, a plug and play 3-1 burst AEG Wizard connected between the battery and the gun. I have the KWA uh, M4A1 gearbox assembly here for testing. And then I have a digital uh, multimeter which allows us uh, to read out uh, the battery voltage. Currently it's reading 12.39 uh, volt. What I'd like to show today is the LiPo uh, battery over discharge protection um, function of the AEG Burst Wizard. As you know, uh, the LiPo battery uh, has a characteristic that it does not like to be over discharged. You know, so the AEG Burst Wizard uh, provide you uh, a, a feature uh, so you don't have that that protects uh, your variable uh, battery uh, from over discharging and significantly shorten its lifespan. So uh, over here, I have that uh, I have a, a eleven point one volt sixteen hundred milliamp hour twenty C uh, lipo battery which register right now at 12.39 volt. A fully charged uh, LiPo battery has a voltage between uh, 12, point, 12 volt uh, to 12.6 volt. So this pretty much says this uh, LiPo battery is fully charged. Okay, so uh, uh, I'd like to uh, show you, you know, that uh, the setup uh, is good to go. And then um, at the end of the discharge cycle, I'll show you, you know, uh, when the uh, uh, burst wizard uh, uh, disable uh, the power uh, to the uh, to to the gun, okay. Uh, this is a three one. Okay, I'll see you in a bit. Now the battery discharged to eleven point nine volt. Now it's about eleven six volt. Now it's about 11.1 volt. Uh, it's about 10.6 volt. Uh, now it's about 10 volt. So, you see the click sound? Meaning, uh, the voltage is low, so uh, it shuts it off. Okay. Uh, now you can see that uh, once it shuts it off, uh, even uh, if the uh, battery voltage is recovering. It's not going to uh, fire anymore because uh, it permanently uh, shut it off. Okay, hope you guys uh, uh, like this feature of the AEG uh, Burst Wizard. Bye bye.